Hey guys, in today's video, I am bringing to you a short list of lifestyle changes I made when I found out I had a cancer risk. Hey guys, I'm Marina Blackford. Welcome to my channel. I am a breast cancer survivor and I'm currently finishing my second breast cancer journey. I post weekly videos. Most of them are on my cancer journey, so chemo tips and hacks and you know, anything I can pay for to somebody going through this. Um, but I'm also a mom to a toddler and a baby. And so you'll just find some of my lifestyle uh, videos on that too. So let's get going with today's video. Uh, first of all, to let you know, today's video is not sponsored, but I am featuring a product that was sent to me for free to try. And I will mention it to you since I think it could be something you could use. So changes I made. Um, I found out I had a risk of cancer I guess when I was in my teens, when I was a teenager, my mom had breast cancer for the first time and um, she had it again when I was in my 20s. So the second time she had it, it was made apparent she had the BRCA mutation that puts her and now I at risk for breast cancer. So it was when I was 30 that I really, or my late 20s, it was really eye-opening that I needed to make some changes to lower my risk of cancer that is so to change anything that I could control because I can't control that it turned out I also have the BRCA gene but here's some changes I made so change number one that I made it never fails <laughs> change number one that I made was pretty easy to do early on and it was that I switched my deodorant to an aluminum free deodorant I made this change by a suggestion of a girlfriend um, at like a Christmas party, I feel like, and I hadn't even thought of it, but she's like, oh, you should not be using deodorant with aluminum. Aluminum can uh, cause, can bring toxins into your body. Also using deodorant with aluminum is, it's causing your body to clog its pores and not excrete any of those toxins. So that's why you would want to consider changing to an aluminum-free deodorant. Um, there's a good amount out there now. I have found one that I like and generally use, but today's video, I'll share with you the products that were sent to me. These were sent by Zion Health. I will link their website down below. You can go to zionhealth.com and um, if you end up buying from them, it sent me to their uh, other website, admaminerals.com. So all of their products, you'll see have clay. So they have this natural clay from the earth that has lots of good minerals in it. Um, so they have everything from deodorant to uh, scrubs to shampoos. Um, I actually ordered their scrub to try. Welcome back my subscribers, by the way. Shout out to all of you that are following me. Look at this, guys. This is six, over six weeks after chemo. Um, a week ago, I shared with you my beach family vlog, and I was getting a little bit of hair. This is just like not even a week later. Look, it's coming in so quick now. I just ordered um, a scalp scrub from this company that has all that clay, that has all that good uh, minerals from the earth. Anyways, to help because when hair comes through, it is so itchy. My scalp has been so itchy and almost like not breaking out, but like a little bit. So I'm excited to get that in that in soon and I will share that with you in an upcoming video. Um, and also yesterday I had enough eyebrows to see my brow girl. So she tinted them. I get my eyebrows tinted and waxed cause I was like getting some serious hair coming in here. So this is um, my eyebrows tinted and waxed as of yesterday. Let's see, so their deodorants here are aluminum free. That's what you're looking for. And I tried um, three of the deodorants that they sent to me. You'll see aluminum free deodorants might come in what looks like a white deodorant. This is, they're bold. Um, they also sent me a sample of their travel one in lavender bold. And then they also sent um, their silk. And the silk is gonna be your, looks like that, right? Less powdery looking. They sent lemonade, which is like, a perfect for summertime. It smells citrusy and yummy. They sent me this Moroccan Bliss. Um, this smells like a um, sweet musk and I love it. Absolutely love it. It's a very sexy scent. Um, and then their lavender, and this is your classic kind of lavender, kind of herby smelling, um, 
Kind of reminds me of a hippie, to be honest. <laughs> natural deodorants, you might have to like kind of dab on a little more. Um, love the scent though. Um, also, Moroccan Bliss. I th think this was my winner. Um, if you want something that's gonna glide on, this like glides on no problem. Um, the only thing with switching to aluminum free is you kind of have to get used to the fact that you're just gonna perspirate more. And that's okay as long as you don't stink. Um, I live in Arizona where it's really hot. It was 105 today. The key with switching to aluminum free deodorants is you have to reapply, almost like sunscreen, at least when you first switch. Um, I just wanted to show you an option for aluminum free deodorant. So thank you Zion Health for sending that to me. All right, another product I changed to reduce my risk of cancer is um, I'm starting with things that you put on your body. So deodorant. Um, other stuff I switched was my lotion. I try to always use lotion that does not have mineral oil, um, that does not have artificial fragrances or dyes, um, and even ones that say no parabens, right? These are things that are linked to toxins. Guys, I'm not a science expert. I'm going to try and phrase this as plainly as possible. But they've been linked to being toxic in our body and have been found in cancers. Um, so through research, they have found parabens in cancers, particularly breast cancers. And so they believe there could be a link to it causing an increase um, in your cancer risk. So I avoid anything with parabens, anything with mineral oil or petroleum because that is a petroleum product, which also is known to have toxins. So try to avoid putting it on your skin daily. Um, other switches you can make, um, shampoos and conditioner using products that are, have no sulfates, um, also no phthalates is what you'll see. Also again, just linked to toxins. All of these are usually just like sudsing agents um, including toothpaste. So use a toothpaste that has no SLS or, or sodium lauryl sulfate. Again, that's a sudging, sudsing agent. It's not needed to really do anything except you make you feel like your hair is clean or your mouth is clean, um, but it's not actually the active ingredient. So if you avoid that, then you're just taking on ingredients that could potentially cause harm. So, and these are things you use every day, guys. I mean, maybe not shampoo every day, but often and just consider looking into products that are more clean. I'll show you an example of a toothpaste I'm using right now. This is Burt's Bees. I am a dental hygienist. I still believe in the benefit of fluoride. That could be very controversial and that's up to you whether you want to use fluoride or not. Um, but mine does have fluoride, but it is free of a lot of stuff. You can see here, it lists right there that it doesn't have anything that you don't need in it right? So, um, Zion Health sent me this. They didn't say I had to feature it, but I'll mention it. You can also look for toothpaste that are mineral toothpaste that are, that don't have fluoride. So this is a fluoride free option. So, um, I like to, it is flavor free. So it's really gentle for mouths that can be sensitive during chemo. Check out my video on 12 things I didn't know before starting chemo. I talk about mouth sensitivity and teeth sensitivity. So, these things might lower your risk for cancer, but also just help you during when, when you're going through cancer treatment. So look at different options. Let's go to things that you put in your body, right? So I buy mostly organic. I've talked about that in some, about some of my grocery hauls, but organic is just gonna have less pesticides and that's huge guys. So if you can spend a little more on buying organic, you're gonna get better quality ingredients. It does cost a little more, but you are saving on, you know, possibly not having to go on medication due to side effects from your food having pesticides. So you really have to think of the big picture when you're spending money on products that are a little better. So if you can't buy everything organic, I get it. Consider just looking at the dirty dozen list and buying produce that is on that list, um, making sure it's organic. I'll feature a link below. Make sure you click on the little carrot arrow here for every, all this stuff down below. The Dirty Dozen list comes from the EWG, the Environmental Working Group. It's a nonprofit organization that does research to let you know what food is at risk with more pesticides. 
So food that says antibiotic free or never fed antibiotics, that's very important too, right? To look for chicken that was not fed antibiotics. Um, mainly chicken, you're going to see that or on eggs. But when they feed the livestock antibiotics, essentially you are eating antibiotics from that chicken that got it. And that contributes to your body not responding to antibiotics very well or just people in general. So always look for antibiotic free. That um, is my list of things I have changed since finding out I have a cancer risk. Not a very long list. I hope some of it inspires you guys. Please stay tuned and subscribe. I am about to start radiation. I have my first appointment this week to do a radiation simulation. I've never done radiation, so it's weird to say I'm excited to share it with you, but I have to do it anyways. So I am excited to share with you what to expect, any tips I have. Um, thank you guys for being here. As always, I hope you have a great day. Look for more videos coming soon, especially on my hair growth. Ha <laughs>